Night at Fan TV. We're here with Jessica. 5-0 win. Probably kind of flattered us again, uh, but, you know, I think uh, we still deserve that win. Uh, what did you think? I tell you, I'm a lot happier in this last interview because I'd say that the game was a more complete victory. Uh, last game, I came out with a little bit of a criticism on our, like, clinical finishing. I think we improved a lot. I feel like we've been working on the training field. I feel like, in particular, one of the things we've been working on is our defensive structure. I'll be honest, before the game, I was pretty nervous when I saw, you know, we were missing some, you know, key defenders, but in came Mars Robinson, and honestly, I thought he had an excellent game. I think his ball distribution, as we spoke about before, was a little off, but he was strong, he was fast, and I'll point out the best player of the game for him, for me, was when the ball went through, Guzan was one-on-one, -on -one. I was sure it was going to be a one-on-one -on -one finish, and he just came out of nowhere. I'm, I, I have no idea where he came from. It was like someone cut him out and just dropped him there because, and it was a great tackle, a brave tackle. So I was really impressed with him. Um, yeah, I thought excellent defending, which is something I haven't said for a long time about Atlanta United. I didn't think we looked as vulnerable as usual. So we have to definitely talk about the refs um, and just it's shoddy decision making. I think there's a lot of timidness uh, and you know a lot of calls that could have gone either way. Most of them kind of went in our favor then. Yeah, I'd say today we have to thank VAR, but, you know, it could have been a very different game if the VAR decisions had gone another way. And if I was an LAFC fan, obviously it was 5-0. You can't say, oh, it's the ref's fault that it was 5-0. But you have to say that it had some sort of impact on the game. Honestly, I thought the refs slowed the game down so much. There were calls that didn't need to be taken to VAR. When you have seven minutes stoppage time, there's something kind of wrong with the system. I'd say that the PK that was awarded in our favor for the foul on Almiron could have gone either way. I think the ball was kicked, you know, he had it out of control. He was clipped, but I think it was in our favor. The handball, I thought it was quite harsh, particularly I think the red card must have been for talking afterwards because you can't, you can't book someone for that sort of handball. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't a goal, um, goal interfering right. handball. And my biggest complaint about the referee though was the weird advantage calls because I felt like every time we had a forward foul who was running he would give advantage well we don't want an advantage in that situation why do we want an advantage when our best forward is down who needs to be bombing in the box yep. so I felt that advantage obviously in some instances it works but I thought he kind of killed the game a little bit and just slowed it down too much and LAFC obviously didn't help I thought they were going down with some pretty soft calls and one last one because the referee really is something the uh, elbow by the captain was pretty atrocious and I think that they're going to look back, the MLS has to look back and see that elbow because it was malicious, it was obvious and intent and you know I think we as a fan base at least drew attention to it because the booing and I had to say I was the first person to boo in the supporters section, I'm, I'm telling you it was me, but the booing really well deserved us and he deserved it, it was disgusting, it was and I just don't understand players mindsets these days when they do it, they know cameras are watching them so I'm sure he'll get a three game ban at least after that and as a captain we've talked about it last last time the sending off was a captain as well and yeah. it's just captains need to up their game you're meant to be a leader and a role model and you're costing your side so they think they can get away with a little bit more because they have the captain C but I, I guess he did because he, he stayed get on. away with it but hopefully MLS will look back and punish him um, I want to shout out Romario Williams yeah. I think that guy deserves more game time I've said it time and time again he's an athlete I think Viaba's doing okay but I think that I don't want to be mean to him because I like him and I like how he plays, but I think that he might be complacent in his starting spot. I think he's got very settled in that starting role. And I think it's maybe time that we look at altering that front forward a little sooner at least because he gets maybe 10 minutes a game, yeah. but he showed today. In 10 minutes, he scored a goal, a world-class goal, beating three players and finishing it at the most acute, you know, he couldn't have got any closer Wait, to slip. netting. And then I'd say he set up for the free kick that caused the penalty with that great strength. So Romario Williams, I think he's one to watch and it's someone that we need to start getting more involved in the game. Yeah, so should he see more time at two or like uh, see time instead of Tito? I mean, that's, uh, that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, I think that Tito maybe needs that shock. I think sometimes you need a little kick up the butt that's gonna motivate you because it's very easy to get complacent. So I definitely think that's important. Yeah.